State Representative Pam Marsh hosted a forum tonight about the progress the community has made since the Almeda fire. NBC5's Jenna King reports. Certainly none of us will ever forget that horrific day of September 8th, 2020. A year after the Almeda fire, leaders are reflecting on the last 12 months. The forum, dubbed Our Path to Recovery, provided residents with a review of the progress made and growth still to come. A year later, we can see the community beginning to rebound. A few of us are already in new and beautiful homes, and neighborhoods are beginning to take shape where there were only piles of debris a year ago. Local leaders like the mayor of Phoenix, Talent City Council and the Phoenix Talent Superintendent join the conversation. Mayor Terry Baker says he's happy about the progress the community has made and is hopeful for what the future holds. We're really excited uh, in Phoenix in particular. We have uh, four sets of apartments that are, are being cited and I understand they're going to have people moving back into them at the end of this month. Then we have two other pieces of property which were formerly vacant which are also building apartments. The city of Talent lost around 800 homes and around 60 businesses. So it's a year later. Uh, what has Talent accomplished in the face of these challenges and what work remains? In the March to Recovery, the city of Talent shared that the number of single-family homes are rebuilding faster than manufactured homes and apartment complexes. But only 42% of the single-family homes have applied or been issued a rebuilding permit. For manufactured homes, that number is just 15%. One way the community is creating more housing is with the Gateway Transitional Housing Project. The Talon Gateway is a four acre piece of publicly owned land on Highway 99 that is slated for future development to include affordable housing, commercial and public space. In early October, 53 fire survivors will be moving into the site. Moving forward, the rebuilding is not complete, but the community continues to take steps forward to becoming more resilient. NBC5's Jenna King reports.